Hello everybody and welcome back to a new weekly booster on Project Peanuts and this week we have Eventide. This is the second set uh, of the block Shadowmore. Uh, the first set was Shadowmore itself and I've explained this uh, before uh, Shadowmore and Eventide are uh, a little bit different than uh, any other set because it's it was just the two uh, before the uh, before the Shadowmore block we had Loring and Morningtide. So, Eventide is one of my favorite sets. Uh, back in the days when this uh, came out, I had my first booster box uh, that I got uh, as a present, really. So, Eventide was my first booster box ever. So, I'm really glad that I got one of these. So, yeah, I'm wondering what's in it. Uh, there are a lot of cards that are uh, worth something, uh, especially the filter lands, uh, as they call it. But uh, yeah, you never know. It's kind of grim as well uh, with the, the themes and everything. So I wonder what we get. All right, here we go. Even died. Awesome series. Oh, there we go. Oh yeah, we had scarecrows in it. Uh, weird ogre kind of things. Not sure anymore what it's called, but we'll uh, we'll see. Uh, probably one. Uh, Fang Skulken. We start off. It's an artifact scarecrow. That gives black creatures wither until end of turn. Wither was, wither was one of the mechanics. Also in Eventide there were uh, some withers in um, Shadowmoor as well. It's not too bad. Not too good either. It's a funny card. Uh, maybe something for my cube. Here we go. The first hybrid card. It's an aura as well. Enchant creature. It's an aura. Huh? So you have to put it on a creature. And it gives you benefits if, if it's black or green. Well... The combination of the two abilities are uh, pretty strong. It is pretty strong, I mean, because that way you can kill almost everything. But it costs five mana, of course. I like it. Ah, oh yeah, trolls. It were not ogres, trolls. Yeah, here we have it. Persist and wither. Two of the main keywords uh, of Eventide and Shadowmore. Uh, Persist returns the card to play with a minus one, minus one counter for more carnage, and its wither makes it uh, a pain in the ass. I think. Cool. Puncture Blast. The design for this card was uh, basically to have spells gain Wither, or at least that the damage would stay. So uh, yeah, because of its Wither you just uh, put three minus one minus one counters uh, on a creature actually in the form of damage. Kind of fun. Instant speed. I like it. Not too bad. Ooh, sexy art. Dream Thief. Uh, you draw a card if you played another blue spell. Not too bad. I like it. But I think this card will be at its best in uh, Limited. Here we have another Persist card that kills, kills enchantments, has flying himself. And you can do this of course two times if you want. Sacrifice it, return it to play and then you can do it again. For example. But 5 mana is quite expensive to be honest. <laughs> another weird creature. A Kelpie, Grazing Kelpie. It has Persist as well and puts cards on the bottom of uh, its owner's library. I don't know. Do you guys know any use for this card? Maybe for Tunnel Vision. That's, that's a card that lets you name a card and uh, puts the top cards of the library of target player into its graveyard until the name card is revealed. That way you can, uh, well with this card at least, you can mill uh, somebody all the way. Hmm, interesting. Hard Lash Cinder. This card has an early design uh, of what we now call Devotion actually. Chroma does exactly the same, but uh, it was called differently here. You don't put Devotion like this uh, uh, on the text box, but I like the card. It could be really huge, it's like a sort of a lightning bolt. Uh, ball lightning, I mean, not lightning bolt of course. <laughs> Alright, Talara's Bane reveals green or white, okay. Hmm. It's more of a sideboard card this is, I think. It's on sorcery speed as well. Ah, Banishing Neck. This card had a, a functional reprint. Uh, it does the same but has a different uh, name. I'm not sure anymore what's it called. What it is called. It was uh, from Born of the Gods, I believe. But yeah, it does exactly the same. Could be fun with things that tap and untap in the same turn so you can bounce more things. Uh, or maybe heroic. Funny card. Sense Enlistment. Oh yeah, Retrace was one of the mechanics as well. 
lets you play this card again if you uh, discard a land card in addition to its other cost. So you have to pay four and discard a land card and then you can do it do this effect again. And it has uh, the potential of getting a lot of soldiers on the field. Cool. Useful card, I like it. Oh, hello. <laughs> a spirit. All right, here we have Twin Blade, Twin Blade Slasher. Jeez, these names. Uh, yeah, good card. Elf Warrior, a one mana one one uh, has Wither and can be three three on turn two. So if you're playing an aggressive deck, this is something you want to play. I think this is uh, pretty uh, decent in limited as well. I would like to play this. Cool. I think I have a playset now of this. Here we have a plant zombie. Good for the plants versus zombie deck, I, I believe. <laughs> or actually not, because it's both, of course. It removes cards from the game uh, and gets you life. Hmm, not too bad. It's sort of a really terrible scavenging ooze. <laughs> but that art it looks really cool. Wow, awesome. Crumbling Ashes. Yeah, I remember this card. Destroys every turn uh, a creature with minus one, minus one counter. So if you have something that... Uh, can give minus one minus one counters every turn or something this card can destroy almost anything really cool crumbling ashes and here we have the rare oh oh well look at this archon of justice it was the same card that was on the booster pack i believe yep and uh yeah this card exiles or removes permanence from the game and now it's called exiled <laughs> five mana four four flying cool i like this card useful but well, that was a really nice booster, uh, not too much worth uh, of cards, but that, that, that doesn't matter because I did find two cards that I want to play in my cube. I don't have so much black in my cube, so this card uh, fits the role of supporting black uh, perfectly. And this card is just plain awesome, Creekwood Ghoul. I uh, want this in the cube. So uh, yeah, the cube grows stronger, here we go. And of course I had some favorites of mine that I really like to keep, which are those. Awesome! Tell me what your favorite card in this booster was. Uh, there are a lot of uh, other cards in Eventide that are really awesome. Too bad we didn't have them. But uh, so much for this booster and I will see you until the next video because there are a lot of weekly boosters to go of course. Also keep in mind my new updates about the giveaway in October. Link is down here and in the video everywhere you can find it. But I'm planning on uh, giving more uh, giveaways or giving more things away for the viewers. So leave a comment, leave a like, do what you want. And uh, until the next video guys, later!